Uh, I strongly support getting vaccinated. I've had my jab two weeks ago, uh, my booster jab, and I thank all islanders who are engaged in the vaccination process in my constituency, and I congratulate the Government on a very ambitious booster programme. When it comes to the vote tonight, I will accept and trust what the Government has to say on face masks, and I will do the same for the daily test, which seems infinitely more sensible than locking people down in, um, in hotels. I am not supporting the passports, and I am not supporting the mandatory jabs. And Threatening the jobs of 73,000 NHS staff seems to be a very odd way of trying to support the NHS. There is a wider issue that I do want to raise uh, with the front bench, and which has somewhat coloured my judgment, and I've heard nothing to reassure me on the following points. I'm fed up with dubious forecasts and ridiculous extrapolations, the kind of which many of us have talked about. Academics, I'm not quoting myself here, academics have talked about Imperial's forecasts as being hysterical, inflated, consistently overconfident, lurid, flawed, spectacularly wrong. What has the government got to say about the incredibly questionable extrapolations that it's used? I'm tired of all the leaks. Omicron, we've suddenly, it's been leaked, could kill 75,000. Well, it couldn't. It, may, it could do, but it may not. And all these doomsday forecasts leaked at critical moments erode public trust. Thirdly, we're told we have to follow the science. Of course we have to follow the science. But at the same time, that is a misleading statement because science is shaped by A, your inputs, and B, your potential desired outcomes. For example, we've had 70 pages of evidence from Scotland on vaccine passports. No evidence to support their valued uptake. So why are we doing so? We're doing so because of the precautionary principle. That is not science. Next, there has been an absolute, one of the most disturbing things has been the absolute lack of context for the statistics used. Was this to increase knowledge or to increase fear? Our, uh, the Honourable Friend from New Forest West said that between 500 and 1,000 people die every day in the country. People die of flu all the time. But it's actually about putting this information in context. And I fear that too much of this, the result has been to scare people, especially the old and especially now the young as well, who are petrified of COVID uh, without, um, and, and not taking account of other more genuine and potentially more damaging threats, like the appalling impact that it's had on education. And so I am going to vote against the government on two of these issues tonight, but my decision to do so has somewhat been coloured by the last 18 months of policy, and I think we need to improve on that. Thank you. Maria.